For our second and final client component pattern, let's discuss the placement of client components within the component tree. This aspect plays a crucial role in optimizing the performance of your application. To compensate for server components not being able to manage state and handle interactivity, you need to create client components. It is recommended to position these client components lower in your component tree. Why is that the case? Let's head back to VS Code and find out. For this demo, I've prepared some code in advance. I've created a new route named landing-page and within the components folder, I've created three new components, navbar, navlinks, and navsearch. Let me help you visualize these components before we dive into the code. Imagine a landing page with a navigation bar at the top and a main section below it. Let's focus solely on the navbar. It has an outer wrapper, which is the navbar component itself. And within this navbar, there's a navlinks component for various links and a nav search component that contains a search bar allowing users to search throughout our site. This forms a straightforward component tree with the landing page component at the top, the navbar and main component as its children, and the navbar in turn has nav links and nav search as its children. I have implemented this structure in code within our Next.js application. Let me walk you through the code. So we have our landing page, page.tsx, which contains the navbar, and then the main section, which simply displays an h1 page heading. Within navbar, we've imported the navlinks and navsearch components, and these two components render simple text as output, list of navlinks, nav search input. But what is important is that every component includes a log statement to indicate whether it has rendered successfully. As you can see, our primary focus isn't on the implementation details of each component, but on the hierarchy of the component tree. Let's now head to the browser and navigate to slash landing page. If we take a look at the DevTools console, you'll see there are no log statements because all the components are server components by default. If we check the terminal, we can see the log statements, navbar rendered, navlinks rendered, and navsearch rendered. This distinction should be clear by now. At the moment, our search bar doesn't have any state associated with it. Let's introduce a state variable to track the value of the search input. We'll do this within navbar component with the understanding that we will pass down the state as props to navsearch. So import use state from React and we create a state variable search with a set of function set search and an initial value of empty string. As soon as we save the file, we see an error indicating that the navbar component is not a client component. To resolve this, let's add the use client directive at the top. After saving the file and reloading the page, we now see the log statements in the browser for all three components, not just the navbar component. The logging occurs twice due to React's strict mode but this won't happen in the built application, so there's no need to worry. But here's a thought. If use client is declared in the navbar component, shouldn't that be the only component running client side? Well, this is a common misconception. When you add use client to a component, it not only makes that component a client component, but also affects every child component in the component tree below it. In our scenario, navlinks and navsearch become client components as well. Think of use client as a boundary. Once crossed, every subsequent component in the tree operates on the client side. This is the reason we see navlinks and navsearch executed client side. 
It is crucial to understand this concept, especially if you have a large component tree. Imagine converting a server component to a client component to add some interactivity. This change would turn the entire subtree of children into client components, and consequently, all their code would be sent to the browser. As a result, you would lose all the advantages of server components. Therefore, the recommended practice is to place client components as low as possible in the component tree, ideally making them leaf components. In our example, we can revert the navbar back to being a server component and convert nav search to be the client component since it's the only one requiring state. So move the use state import as well as the function invocation. Make sure to add use client at the top. After making these adjustments and reloading the page in the browser, we should see only the nav search component executing client side. So that is about client component placement within the app router. Place them as low in the component tree as possible. All right, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.